Hi guys, and welcome to Undercover Scam Beta. I met this romance scammer, Mary, on WhatsApp. She is one of the most determined scammers I've ever dealt with. She used every possible tactic to try and convince me to send her gift cards and money. I must give Mary credit as she kept me on the edge of my seat, as I didn't know which direction her scam was going to go next. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. Wasting the scammer's time. Hey babe. Who's this? Mary Nyanko, how are you dear? Good. Okay sweetheart, where are you located now? At home. Can you send me your picture? Where from dear? USA. Can you tell me more about yourself? Where are you from? Ghana. I enjoy blowing up beach balls, elderly voyeurism and grazing on grass. <laughs> how about you? I am married and am 40 years, but I'm single with no kids. What about you, dear? I am Mike, 64 years, but single with kids. Mary sends this photo, which is a screenshot from one of Carly Gray's videos. Carly Gray is an adult entertainer with a plethora of photos and videos on websites such as OnlyFans, Facebook, and Twitter. This makes her a perfect target for scammers to steal her images. Dear, so whilst you are single and am also single, why don't we have a serious relationship together? It will be good for us to have a serious relationship together than allowing scammers to come your way. I can't be in a serious relationship with you. Why, dear? You are in Ghana and I'm in the USA. There has never been a successful long-distance relationship in the history of mankind. Really, dear, that don't matter in a relationship, because the more we know ourselves can let us meet one day. I don't like African food. Dear, it is better to have a good relationship than being with scammers. If even you can't eat my food, I hope through our relationship, I can come there and visit you. We don't have a relationship. Dear, I need your relationship. I already told you I don't like African food. I can't see it working. Why, dear? How can we have a relationship if I don't like the food you cook? I know how to properly cook any food. Can you cook grilled cheese sandwiches? Yes, dear. Okay. How about a Krabby Patty burger? Yes, sweetheart. Hey, babe. My name is Mike. What work you do for your living? I'm retired. Okay, dear. I think you want to sleep. Retired means I no longer work. Sweetheart, I want to ask you something, please. My food staff is finished. You have food staff who prepare your food? Wow, you must be rich. How many staff have you employed? Sweetheart, I don't let anyone prepare my food for me. You told me your food staff is finished. What do you mean? Yes, my food staff is finished yesterday, around the evening. So the food staff all quit on the same day? Gee, that's rough. Okay, sweetheart. What about the food staff? I think you need to employ more food staff if you aren't capable enough to prepare your own food. But I really need you to help me employ, so I want to know if you can help with all that. It would be best to maybe advertise the vacant jobs on LinkedIn. I know, but now I depend on you, my love. But you can post job ads on LinkedIn for free. Sweetheart, where is my Valentine gift? Where's my Valentine's gift? Okay, we'll do it for you. Great. Yes, where is my own? Mary reminds me that it's Valentine's Day and therefore she expects me to buy her a gift card. Well, instead of falling for scam attempt number two, I make her a card instead. You probably won't believe me when I tell you this, but this card only took me two minutes to design. Happy Valentine's Day, what's up person? I'll leave it up on the screen for a few moments so you can appreciate this work of art. Feel free to copy this card and send it to your loved ones on Valentine's Day next year. Mary then sends me this video she stole from TikTok as my Valentine's Day gift. I had to remove the audio from this video as it used copyrighted music. Please let me know which Valentine's Day gift you think is best in the comments section down below. Did you make that? Yes, I made it for you. Help me to celebrate my Valentine today, please, sweetheart. I'm already celebrating with you now. No, babe. I think you can give me my card today. I made you a card. Don't you like it? Gift card. Babe, where are you located? USA. I've already told you that. What's your name? Sandra Smith. Interesting. How old are you? 
I'm 35. Babe, I want to see your picture. Yes, you heard it correctly. Mary Nienko is now Sandra Smith and is five years younger. I suspect this WhatsApp account is shared between a few romance scammers and the new scammer hasn't read the previous dialogue between Mary and I. Where are you from? I come from Ghana. Can you send me your photo? You don't look African. I know. My mom was born in Spain. I think you can give me the card this month. Is it your birthday again? Yes. It was your birthday only a few months ago. How many birthdays do you have each year? Sorry, it's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday to your mom. How old is she? 75. Oh wow, she'll be dead soon. No, not now. I think you can give him something. Time's running out. Is your mum trans? I don't get you. Never mind. What's your mum's name? Jessica Smith. Is she hot? No. That's disappointing. Can you send me a photo of her? Okay, what about the card? This is my mum. Your mum looks 30. Your mum is younger than you. I think you might be adopted. Please, babe. Where is the card? How do I contact your mum? Is she on OnlyFans? I want to show you something. What? Something happened to my phone. OMG, what happened? I'm sitting on my bed and the phone fell down. You clumsy idiot. Were you drunk? No, dear. How did you break your phone so badly? I don't know, babe. A phone shouldn't get that damaged from falling off a bed. Understand me. It is not my fault. Maybe it was one of your ex-staff members breaking it in spite. Yes, I want to ask them. You should report it for willful damage to the police. I will do that tomorrow morning. How can I pay for the report? You don't need to pay for a police report. Babe, I'm not feeling well. What's wrong? I went to hospital on Monday morning. Why? I'm so disappointed. Disappointed why? They need some serious money to treat me. What treatment did you receive? They are saying that I need oxygen. I have lost all my money in the hospital now, so I think you can help my life. We all need oxygen, honey. I need oxygen. Just breathe deeply and you'll get all the oxygen you need. Okay, babe. I have lost my family this evening. Were you playing hide and seek? How are you doing today, my love? Good. Have you found your family yet? No, babe. Oh, no. You better keep searching for them. They've found one hell of a hiding spot. I think they have dead. What happened to make them dead? Babe, I don't know anything about it, but I have seen they are not alive. Great that you found them. Where were they hiding? I don't know. I can't find them. When I looked for them, then someone tell me that. If you can't find them, they must still be hiding somewhere. I miss my parents. You need to keep looking for them. Perhaps they are hiding under the bed. No. Under the stairs? I think you are joking with me. No, I'm trying to help you find your parents. Okay. Have you checked the linen cupboard? Or perhaps the pantry? No, they travel to some place. Go check and let me know if they are there. I think you can help me to report the case. Babe, I don't know. So can you help me? Help you with what, dear? Money, babe. What do you need money for? To buy food staff, babe. Why do you need to employ more staff? Just make your own food. But I have lost my money. Sometimes in romantic relationships, your partner will forget their name and age, and even what you look like. Your partner may ask for money and gift cards to pay for many, many different types of necessities. It may be to help pay for their personal chefs. It may be to pay for a free police report. Or it may be to pay for oxygen so that they can breathe. In the end, their identity and yours is not important. What is important is to find every possible way to not spend a single cent to cover their necessities. Thank you for watching Undercover Scam Beta. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more notifications of our new videos.